What's up, dude? That freaking video was awesome. I was super stoked. Dude, I totally know what song you should do next. What? Guilty. <laughs> dude, I gotta call you back. Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Papa Stash Pop and another movie theme. This is awesome. This is like a huge request. I mean, epic, epic theme of all time. One of the best. Click that link down below if you have got a theme song request of your own, and I will do my best to make a cheesy action film to just entertain you and hopefully You'll spread the word because sharing is caring. You guys are awesome. Let's get into this one. Not a lot of shape we can do this without waking up the ladies. <laughs> So this is like a, you know, 937 piece orchestra and we're just going to do it one guitar. Well, unless you got like 35 guitar playing buddies and then you can do the whole arrangement. It'd be awesome. Or, you know, use the ladies in the back. <laughs> They're there. Why not? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the third fret D string down. And then from that point, I'm going to take my index finger on the fourth fret of the high E. And then we got the fifth fret G string and the sixth fret B. We're gonna hit it twice. Just two down strokes. One, two, and then you're gonna grab the C note, which is right above. So you can bar from the C down if you want, but just make sure after you hit that note, you release the pressure, right? So we got. So one, two on the chord, single note, third fret A string. Okay, and then after that, we got a little riff that goes like this. Okay, that is the high E string, and it's the eighth fret, sixth fret, fourth fret. Then we go B string, eight and six. Now remember, the whole song is swung a little bit, so it's not. It's, all right, so again. All right, 
Now, after that part is, you know, kind of where you might start recognizing everything's coming in. We got this little spooky theme. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna always be pedaling back to the D string third fret. Now, on the G string, you're gonna be moving up and down one fret at a time. You start at the fifth fret. So you're gonna go fifth fret, D string third fret. Back to the G string, sixth fret. Seventh fret, back. Okay, so that goes on, you know, let's say four times, give or take six. All right, now after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a really recognizable. All right, now it's a reoccurring picking pattern and this hand is going to make the, well, obviously it's gonna make the melody, but the picking pretty much stays the same. Now, when I first start, I'm gonna do a downstroke on the F note, which is the first fret low E. And then I'm gonna go, so that's down, up, down, down. So we got. And then I'm gonna do three downstrokes back on the first fret, so we got. Now, it's gonna be the same picking pattern, but we're gonna to have to do a little bit more with our fingers on the second time. Okay, so we start off with one hit on that first fret again, but now we do the down, up, down on the, right, so we got. All right, so all together it's. Back to the first time where it's the first and the third fret. Now this is the th fourth time we're gonna play this and it's gonna be a little bit different. Once you get to the third fret you walk straight down to the first fret. Okay and that's where you add in the D string second fret and then to the first fret. Okay so you got and then you go up to the A string and go three one three. All right, so slowly, all together. traditional song there's a little bit of the half part of the next super recognizable recognizable theme but I'm just gonna teach you the main theme part okay because what happens is you have basically two of the parts that we've already done overlapping and then they introduce another part on top of that so it's kind of difficult to do it with one person so we'll just skip to the actual next theme that everybody really recognizes, all right? And that goes like this. Okay, so there's a little bit of string skipping involved, but we're gonna go three and then six on the D. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over a string down to the B string and go five, four. So we got three, six, B, Five, four, back to the sixth fret D, 
and then we're gonna go G string four or five. Okay, so we got. Remember, it's a little swung. Okay, now this part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the sixth fret of the D string. We're gonna do a hammer on and a pull off. Okay, so hammer onto the eighth fret from the sixth fret, pull off, pull off, and then pull off to five. Okay. And then we're gonna go up to the D note. Okay, so that's gonna be A string, fifth fret, D string, third fret, back to the fifth fret, A string. So we got. Next part, you do the exact same thing. Now we're gonna go D note which is the fifth fret of the A string, but now, after that, we're gonna go two, three on the D. So. Whole thing. Okay, and so for the last part, it's different, right? The parts, you know, reoccur in the song. So this is the only other part you're gonna need to know that'll round out the whole theme. Now it goes like this. So we're gonna hit, this is all on the D string. We're gonna hit it twice, and then we're gonna go up to the fifth fret. So it's twice on the third fret, and then five, three, five. So. so you hit it twice, one more time. Then we're gonna go up to the sixth fret, and then hit it again. Okay, so it's. Same kind of thing with the third fret and the fifth fret, so we got. Six, 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 five, three, five. So all together. Then you go back to that beginning. And then you repeat. Okay, so the last part. Now, keep in mind, these are all, you know, the parts, but my recollection of how they all fit together is a little loose, and no, this wasn't real and empty because I tried to teach it well under the influence of martinis. I don't even know if I've ever had a martini. So I don't know, it's not my thing. So, anyways, after, let me see. Oh, right, here we go. So there's another part where you go back to the. Right, that whole bit. Then you're gonna go back to. Okay, back to spooky. Then you're gonna do this line that builds up to the very end, and I'm gonna break it down really slow. We're gonna go, this is just like the one riff you learned that's the main theme. Okay, but it only goes that far. So it's gonna be four notes. Each one of these little riffs is four notes, and we're gonna move it all up and down the neck. So it's gonna be D string, third fret to sixth fret. Jump down to the B string, five to four, so we got. Then you're gonna go to the G string, the B string, and then the high E string. The first fret on the G and B. Okay, so all together. 
Jump up to the fifth fret. Okay, so that's gonna be five, eight on the G string, seven, six on the high E string. Jump up to 10, 13 on the G, and then 12, 11, okay? So we got. Gives a little pause. Orchestra kicks in, and then you got. Okay, this. This chord's pretty much what it is. I just thought this chord sounded a, a little bit cooler. Not that the other chord didn't sound cool, the same basic chord. <laughs> right? What I did was I went fourth fret D or excuse me, third fret D string, and then I barred the G, B, and high E with my first finger, and then my pinky grabs this G note on the high E string. <laughs> Right? You can do that with your volume, and it's like a little built-in tremolo. It's sweet. To add to the whole, you know, loose martini thing. <laughs> All right, so one more time we got. Back down. So if you can just get like 20 of your friends, guys or girls, you know, the girls are cool because they could, you know, dress up like go-go dancers and have guitars, which would be even better. So link to that video if that ever happens. But anyways, be awesome. But those are the basic parts, the basic melodies. So the song's a little more complex because with some of those melodies, we have, you know, notes that really draw out tension. But this will totally get you through. Be like, dude, you know any theme songs? You're like, of course, this dude on YouTube does these awesome freaking movies and then teaches <laughs> teaches the, I'm just kidding. I'm just having fun. So I hope you're all having fun too. Yes, way to go. I'd love to thank my buddy Nick and Adam. Nick is the special effects guru and Adam's the guy that just died like 40 times. <laughs> So click that link below if you guys got more theme song requests or if you just have any type of request, that's awesome. And if you want to help me out, remember sharing is caring. Spread it far and wide. I would love you. I will already love you guys. You're amazing. But even more, if you guys you know, spread the word, help us out here. That's awesome. Thank you so, so, so much once again for joining me here at Pop Stash Pop. We'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.